shines bright, His glory sing. The glory of God is on you. His eyes are on you. He thinks of you. What He says true. Galatians 3, verse 5. He said, He therefore that ministered to you the Spirit and walketh miracles among you, do I it by the works of the law or by the hearing of it? You started your Christian life by confessing the Lordship of Jesus. And without doing anything, eternal life was given to you because you said it. Why do you think you will get job and business by doing something? If the biggest thing was gotten by talking, listening and hearing are two different things. You can be listening and not hearing. Once you hear, there will be a conviction. Once you hear, there will be a change in communication. Once you hear, there will be a change in the way you see your life. There will be a conviction. There will be a change in communication. I'm sharing with you today by the hearing of faith. Christianity is not a life where we beg God to help us. It's not a life of a beggar. So when you become a Christian, you don't beg God for a miracle. It's so important that you understand the world. Amen. Understand what we have become. I say Christianity is not a life where you beg God for a miracle or beg God to help you or beg God to do something for you. Whatever the thing might be. The moment you see yourself begging God, just know that God is not hearing you. In the Old Testament, they beg God for everything. Why? Because he was not their father. He was their God. There's a difference between God and Father. In the Old Testament, nobody could ever call God Father. It was Jesus Christ that was the first person to call God Father. And when he said, God is my Father, the Jews were so upset. The Bible said they pick up a stone to stone him. He said, I and my Father are one. They couldn't accept it. If he had said, I and my God are one, they would like, okay, maybe it's one funny God. But he said, Father. And so they were very upset. Jesus Christ brought to us the fatherhood of God. Hallelujah. He brought to us the fatherhood of God. That means from the day you receive Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, God takes responsibility over you as a father. I want to follow now. God takes responsibility over you as a father. So he's more than a God to you. God is the God of all creation. God is the God of all human beings. God is the God of all things. But to a Christian, it goes beyond to be a God to a father. Right.